The overall goal of this procedure is to fabricate lateral quantum dots capable of reaching the single electron regime. This is accomplished by first choosing a proper substrate and etching a mesa to delimit a region of the sample where the two-dimensional electron gas will be present. The second step is to fabricate ohmic contacts using photolithographic and rapid thermal anneal processes. Next, the leads and gates defining the dot are fabricated by electron beam lithography. The final step is to fabricate the bonding pads and the larger leads using photolithography. Ultimately, stability diagrams are measured at low temperature to show that the few electron regime can be reached. The main advantage of this device over existing spin qubits, such as vertical quantum dots, is that the properties of the lateral quantum dots are tunable. Though this protocol is used to fabricate lateral quantum dots on gallium arsenide aluminum gallium arsenide hetero structures, it can also be easily adapted to fabricate devices on other substrates, such as silicon, silicon germanium. Start with a substrate of modulation-doped gallium arsenide aluminum gallium arsenide heterostructure from which traces of resist and organic compounds have been removed. This sample, a square with sides slightly longer than one centimeter, will hold 20 identical fabricated devices. Clean the sample twice in a low-power sonic bath with acetone for five minutes. Then, Clean it in the sonic bath with isopropyl alcohol for an additional 5 minutes. Blow dry the sample with nitrogen from a compressed...